Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has 15 diesel attack conventional submarines in its service which includes 4 Kalvari or Scorpion class, 7 Sindhu Ghosh or Kilo class and 4 Sishumar or Type 209 class of submarines. Under Pilot 25, 2 more Kalvari class submarines will be commissioned into Indian Navy and are undergoing sea trials. In order to boost its fast declining submarine strength, the Indian Navy is focused on its future conventional submarine program which is the Project 75 India or P-75I. Efforts for the construction of six advanced submarines under Project 75I have been delayed. With delays in submarine induction, the Kilo class submarines and HTW submarines are being put through mid-life refit come certification process to extend their service life. Now, Indian Navy had signed a contract with Russia to extend the service life for its four Kilo class submarines. The extension refit was pegged at Rs 5000 crore under project 08773. The upgrade will not only extend the life of the boats but will also upgrade their combat potential. The first submarine to be sent was INS Sindhu Keshri that will be fitted with club land attack cruise missile. Now, as per latest report, INS Sindhu Ratan, which is undergoing protracted refit come life extension upgrade in Russia, is planned to join Indian Navy by February. It is second of the four old Russian Kilo class submarine planned to undergo the modernization upgrade. Now, in November last year, the fourth of the six Calvary class submarine called INS Vela was commissioned into Indian Navy. The submarine was deployed in across the Indian Ocean region, which includes extensive patrolling in the Bay of Bengal. It returned to its home port at Mumbai on October 15th after a record eight and a half month long cross coast deployment. The sustained deployment was in the view of increasing Chinese naval presence in the Indian Ocean region. The submarine has advanced stealth and combat capabilities. It is capable of offensive operations that span the entire spectrum of maritime warfare. It is equipped with both long-range guided torpedoes as well as anti-ship missiles as well as advanced sonars and sensor suites. It can contain 8 torpedoes and 30 mines along with Exocet missiles. On 1st February 2022, the fifth submarine of this class called Bagheer has commenced her sea trials. The reduction of submarines is expected by end of this year. Bakshir, the last of the Calvary class submarine, is planned to be inducted in 2024. The third submarine regarding which we are going to discuss is Arighat. It is second nuclear powered ballistic submarine under the program ATV, that is Advanced Technology Vessel. The submarine was launched quietly in 2017 and is nearing the completion of its sea trial. It could be commissioned in next few months. Talking about its weapon, it can host 12 K-15 SLBM having range of 750 km or 4 K-4 SLBM having range of 3500 km. Recently, on 14th October, the Ministry of Defense has announced the launch of nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile in the Bay of Bengal with a very high accuracy from INS Arihant. While the name of missile was not disclosed, it's most likely going to be K-15 Sagrika. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.